English Story Times, Book 52, Story 10. Ridiculously long and curved fingernails. Here's a picture of, uh, what's his name? Uh, here's a picture of, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know who I mean. Uh, you know who I mean. The horror film director, say the Cachon. Here's a picture of, uh, who? Here's a picture of, uh, who? Well, here's a picture of, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know who I mean, the horror film director, Zay de Cachon. Line two. He has the longest curved fingernails. He has the longest curved fingernails that the author has ever seen. That the author has ever seen. He has the longest curved fingernails that the author has ever seen. Question. What does he have? What does he have that is completely unique? That is completely unique. What does he have that is completely unique? Well, he has the longest curved fingernails that the author has ever seen. Line three. Having fingernails as long, having fingernails, fingernails as long is certainly weird. <laughs> is certainly weird. Having fingernails this long is certainly weird. Question, having what he has, having what he has, is certainly what? Is certainly what? Having what he has is certainly what? Well, having fingernails this long is certainly weird. Four, he probably, he probably never got enough attention, never got enough attention when he was a kid, when he was a kid. So to make up for his lack of attention, so to make up for his lack of attention, he decided to grow, he decided to grow his fingernails ridiculously long. He decided to grow his fingernails ridiculously long which would almost force people, which would almost force people to give him attention, to give him attention. He probably never got enough attention when he was a kid. So to make up for his lack of attention, he decided to grow his fingernails ridiculously long, which would almost force people to give him attention. Question. What is a possible reason he has them? What is a possible reason he has them? And growing his fingernails so long, growing his fingernails so long was the way of making up for what? Was his way of making up for what? Growing his fingernails so long was his way of making up for what? Well, he probably never got enough attention when he was a kid. So to make up for this lack of attention, he decided to grow his fingernails ridiculously long, which would almost force people to give him attention. Line five. The longer a person's fingernails grow, the longer a person's fingernails grow, the more curved they get. The more curved they get. The longer a person's fingernails grow, the more curved they get. Question. What is the relationship between, what is the relationship between length of fingernails and their curvedness? <laughs> length of fingernails and their curvedness. What is the relationship between length of fingernails and their curvedness? Well, the longer a person's fingernails grow, the more curved they get. Six, but like I mentioned, 
But like I mentioned in a previous picture, in a previous picture, as crazy as we might think this is, as crazy as we might think this is, he has the right to do it. He has the right to do it. But like I mentioned in a previous picture, as crazy as we might think this is, he has the right to do it. But even if the craziness, but even if the cra even if the crazy, even if it's crazy, come on, I'm sorry, even if it's crazy, even if it's crazy, what does he have the right to do? What does he have the right to do? What does he have the right to do? But even if it's crazy, what does he have the right to do? But like I mentioned in a previous picture, as crazy as we might think this is, he has the right to do it. Line seven, and the idea behind the law of allowance is, and the idea behind the law of allowance is, don't waste your time thinking about, don't waste your time thinking about what others should or shouldn't do. What others should or shouldn't do. But invest your time, but invest your time thinking about what you want. Thinking about what you want. And the idea behind the law of allowance is don't waste your time thinking about what others should or shouldn't do. But invest your time thinking about what you want. Because, question, because of the law of allowance, because of the law of allowance, don't what? Don't what? Because of the law of allowance, don't what? Okay, invest your time, invest your time in what? In what? Invest your time in what? Well, the idea behind the law of allowance is don't waste your time thinking about what others should or shouldn't do, but invest your time thinking about what you want. Okay, line eight. By making this investment in your thinking, by making this investment in your thinking, what you want gets ever closer to you what you want gets ever closer to you. And then, and then, before you know it, before you know it, you got it. You got it. And then, before you know it, you got it. By making the investment in thinking, by making the investment in thinking about what you want, about what you want, what eventually happens? What eventually happens? By making the investment in thinking about what you want, what eventually happens? Now, your goal here is 62 seconds. So, here we go. Here's a picture of, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know who I mean, the horror film director. He has the longest curved fingernails that the author has ever seen. Having fingernails this long is certainly weird. Wow, weird for sure. He probably never got enough attention when he was a kid. So to make up for his lack of attention, he decided to grow his fingernails ridiculously long, which would almost force people to give him attention. The longer a person's fingernails grow, the more curved they get. But like I mentioned, in a previous picture, as crazy as we might think this is, he has the right to do it. As crazy as we might think this is, he has the right to do it.